So this equation, there's a lot going on here. It's a double displacement reaction. We have lead to nitrate plus ammonium hydroxide. The PB and the NH4, they're going to switch places. So let's balance the equation and we'll use a bit of a trick that'll make this actually a lot easier. We have one lead and then NO3, that's called the nitrate ion. We have nitrate here and nitrate here. So it stays together. We're going to count it as just one thing. We have one nitrate times two. So that's two nitrates. NH4 here and here, it's called the ammonium ion. It's one of the few positive polyatomic ions. It's really worth remembering NH4. We have one here, so we're just going to put one. And then hydroxide, we have it here and we have it here. So we have one of the hydroxide ions. On the product side, we have one lead, one nitrate, one ammonium ion, and then one hydroxide times two. We have two of those. So this is a lot neater than counting up all those oxygens and nitrogens and everything. To balance it, why don't we balance the nitrates first? We have two here and one here. So I'll put a two as my coefficient. One times the two gives me two of those. Those are balanced. And then we have one of these times two. That gives us two of the ammoniums. So now it looks like we could balance the ammonium ion here. We could put a two in front of the ammonium hydroxide. One of these times two. That gives us two of those. And then one of these hydroxides times two gives us two of those. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see the utility of counting these polyatomic ions is just one thing. As long as you have them here and on the other side, you can count it as one thing. It makes it a lot easier to balance. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for PBNO32 plus NH4OH. Thanks for watching.